All right, welcome back to My Survey Journey. This is episode 32. If you watched the last episode, you know we've just had our year on Soro. We've gone for our profit and loss. And today, we're just going to go through everything that's been happening in the club. It's been a long while since I updated on, you know, my strategies, you know, my success, my thoughts. So we're going to dig right into that. And um, first up, we have our best, best most expensive reward ever. It's a tier. Um, actually, I'll show you the teams first. I'll talk through the week because it was probably my best, most successful week. And it was, so it was game week 250. And we have our all-star limited team here, which was quite consistent. Didn't end up getting us as a reward because Julian Alvarez was like dizzy in the warm-up. So we, you know, DMP'd. This happens. Um, next up, we have our all-star rare team, right? Which basically all hit, got us 290 points. Obviously, you only need 250 for the threshold. But, you know, we ended up being 50 away from our first rare reward. Doesn't really matter. No, I was just after the threshold. But it's good to see, you know, consistent performers and, you know, performances because once they perform they typically go up in price so someone like tap soda i'm really excited can start you know performing again he only got 40, 45 but it was against Bayern, so keep that in mind challenge of europe bit of a write-off just as cheap a team as possible really this dh has really been struggling um in terms of so5 scores at least so um we'll see what to do with him he's so cheap now that i'm thinking i'll just hold on to him but yeah ruined a couple of lineups this one just a disaster class i think you know should have known de la santos was out de la cruz um maybe had a, a knowledge beforehand but again this is right during all my exams i don't have time to look for all of these um you know suspensions injuries all the rest of it champion asia we knew was basically a throwaway um annoying that osami got <laughs> like a year-long injury you know he's gone significantly down a value but it doesn't really matter time to get on to some of the um better lineups so we got tier three from this which is quite you know I don't know, quite shocking really. Like, obviously none of them really performed, but you know, my lowest score was what, a 50 from Messi and all of them are scored above that. So this shows you how competitive champion Europe is getting right now. Like obviously that's like a powerhouse squad and it only managed a tier three. And I think the rewards is very little in value, like two, three pounds. Uh, the U23s really showed up for us. You know, 366 points overall. I mean, Jota should have captained him. Jota till I die. That should have been the uh, mentality. But we went with Vinicius, who you know hasn't really ever let the club down substantially. 78 as captain. Got us a tier two reward. And what a tier two it was. Um, and then after that, um, you know, right on uh, basically tier one. And if Aronson hadn't started on the bench against bottom of the league, you know, if he had started where they scored four goals, I'm sure I would have been like very close to a podium at least and then the best one there was the weekly challenge so if you don't know the weekly challenge have just gone absolutely electric at the moment this was scores you had to have over your last five scores less than 45 to be entered and i had a couple of players that i thought was really good for this so i thought yeah i'll go out and splash big on some players that you know have been underperforming but consistent good scorers like de zuba and cotez and uh, Gomis as well. I was always looking to get him, so it's actually a perfect time to swap Prodecki for Gomis. Uh, I think I paid a little bit of a premium on it, nothing substantial. But yeah, they basically all just hit to the point where I finished 14th out of 11,000 people all competing. This was across every um, scarcity. You could have uniques in there, super rares, rares, limiteds. It really didn't matter. So to come 14th was absolutely unreal. And the best thing about it, I was absolutely buzzing all day because um, Zenit for Dezuba was the last game on Monday and he was my captain. And I I knew I could win the game if he scored 100. Basically, what happened in the 68th minute, he finally scored and then he got subbed in the 70th. But did I care? No. Look here, I've got a tier two super rare. Oh my God. And um, I was pretty pleased with it. You can watch it here. Everyone really did well, to be fair there. Let's get into it. Right. Tier two. Okay. Mario Jr. from PSV. I don't think he plays. They've got a really stacked midfield. But, you know, definitely for a long term hold, that would be good. Okay, Carlos Akbo, don't really know a lot about him, but he's really low down tier three, so it doesn't matter. I assume the next one's a super rare, a tier two super rare, I think. So this could be absolutely nuts, especially for a gallery my size. So let's hope it's good. Come on. Oh, we got played with the common. Uh, but Zaniolo, big love for the man. Hopefully he's coming back stronger after his injury. All right, come on. Ooh, okay. So a defender, but he is under 23. So I'm going to have a quick look up about him. I don't know a lot about him, to be honest, because he's in the Turkish League, which I don't really follow. Yeah, so just looking at some of the rewards I'd won, right? In the game week, my tier two was Mario Jr. of PSV. And I didn't really know much about him. I didn't think he started, but he's, a, he's starting just in the kind of more defensive role. And he's absolutely slamming massive scores home. I mean, look at this. All right, a little bit of lag to load it up, but... 
I mean, yeah, look at these scores since he's got his position. And it's absolutely huge. I did make a mistake. Um, I had him up for sale because like, I was trying to sell off a couple of players, build an ETH balance. And, you know, I left him running during a game. And um, I saw they had conceded four, so I wasn't really bothered. But basically, re very close to the end of the game, he got clearance off the line, which was a decisive, which puts him on another massive score. And he got snapped out, you know, the second it happened, really. Another 81 when conceding four goals. Just shows how good this guy is. And then from there, so that was, I'll do it in sterling so you guys understand a bit better. That was £184 I got for him. And then, like, the next day was 247 so you know cost myself about 60 quid which isn't great which is why you never keep players listed um you know whilst they're playing really there's really no benefit to it so you've got to remember that and yeah mistakes happen but overall what did i win 184 pound for a tier two that is ridiculous i got so lucky with the rewards and then when you look at um it's loading up here when you look at andil demery bag right which is my super rare here under 23s, which I was buzzing with, like only for the rest of the season, but it doesn't really matter. Like it's a tier two. And then you dig down deep into his scores and he wasn't a consistent starter, but now he's a consistent starter. He's basically got in, uh, this is in play. So he's just basically means he's starting today, which is nice. Um, he's basically got 82, 16 because of a decisive 70. You know, he's one of those players that can actually hit really big scores as long as he doesn't give away like penalties and own goals like he has here. So, you know, slightly under the radar. And when you fin think I finished 14th, and if you watch the other YouTube guys, you see, you know, Quinish, uh, Quinny finished, I think it was 6th or 7th, and he got Jimenez, who's obviously better, but like 0 0.165 compared to 0 0.1. And then when John finished 4th, he got someone from Union Berlin, I think it was this guy, who's worth exactly the same as my player. So I was absolutely buzzing when I found out. Maybe like on the reaction, I didn't think he was that great because I didn't know about him. But now, looking com compared to where else I could have finished, you know, I've absolutely, you know, smashed it really. I'm buzzing with him. So it's just a decision of whether I keep him. You know, he can go in these under like 50s and under 45 special weeklies now. So yeah, it's, a, it, it's, it's interesting. I put him about £900. He's probably about £700 worth. So... You know, that cost, you know, probably just less than my whole team. And obviously I can use the rest of the players in that team for the rest of their life. So absolutely result. Um, and when you look at my other SO5 results, because I haven't really gone through them in a while, you know, we've got some nice scores here. Um, Luca Oyun, um, I'm actually giving him away at the end of the episode, so stay tuned for that. Um, and then, you know, Henry Kessler is a good guy, even though he's actually like cost me a little bit recently. And yeah, we finished fifth. Uh, I think I showed you Koku, Koku but yeah, overall, Consistently hitting rewards, just you know, basically appreciating in value or improving in value, um, except for the club roster value, it has been hammered, absolutely battered recently. So um, I'm not sure if it's just Champion Europe coming to the end of its season. You know, people start transitioning into you know Asian and American players now, but like Neymar, Messi, and Donnarumma all down, you know, thirty percent basically. That's obviously because they went out of the Champions League in an absolutely awful way. Ruined my day, basically, how bad that was. Um, but obviously, I do have Vinicius and Crew, so it wasn't the end of the world, but it did annoy me. Um, but then you got players that are performing, like Jota, down 20% after like a 90. Um, Hakimi's part of the PSG club going down. And oh my God, Dea Upamecano, what a mistake this was. I mean, I was so sure he'd be a good player. And... Um, Look, it's just, it just doesn't always work out like you think it was. So I ended up getting him for £665, um, and he's now £300. So I've lost over half his value in like a couple of weeks. Uh, it's probably just over a month now. And, you know, it's just a case of him not being as good as I thought he was, getting dropped by the manager, and now he's rotational. And, and you know, my new philosophy on this game is, if in doubt, leave them out. So if there's any doubt about their fitness or whether they're playing, just leave them out. And you basically means you're leaving out Upa Meccano the whole time because he's a doubt now. You know, didn't play the last two games, I think it is. So um, everything's not as bright and rosy as it once was, unfortunately. But, you know, we're still consistently putting teams out. We're getting rewards, you know, consistent finishes. I think we need to start improving to get in, you know, our first podium. You know, I'll say it, you know, looking at my club value, I thought I probably would have had, um, I did come fifth, but I thought I would have had a podium by now so maybe it's time to you know up the guns and reassess strategy or, or just speak to other people about it and that will be coming soon so stay tuned for that but yeah it's just keeping up with what's going on in my club really so i think the only thing left to do is um the giveaway and look who i'm buying 
All right, so if you follow me on YouTube and you follow me on Twitter, you know I'm doing a giveaway for the two cards here. So Nicholas Ravella and Luca Oyen, you know, two high, high prospects in terms of football. Not hitting the ground at the moment, but, you know, they're about £150 when I announced the giveaway. So nothing to be sh to laughed at. But yeah, it's just a thank you for, you know, everyone that supported me and, you know, having such a great year on So Rare. So long may that continue. But yeah, let's get into the draws. So First up, we'll go for, you know, Oyen for the YouTube comment, just because he's there, and we'll get him. 58, apparently. Let's get into it. Who's won it? <whistles> Jay Vix. He said, congrats on the profit. So if he's watched this video, and he, uh, you know, comments below his team name, we'll give it out to him. If he doesn't claim it in about, let's say, a week, I'll probably draw someone else. But yeah, thanks for watching. All right. Enough. Drawing complete. Ostrich. It's perfect. So he will be the backup winner. 